Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another Tokyo vlog or Japan vlog because I don't really know where we're going today. Doug has it all planned out and he's doing that right next to me. Um, but yeah, so t this morning we thought that we would get breakfast in the hotel because we haven't done that yet. And I'm interested to see like what hotel breakfast is like. I don't know, I'm just curious about everything in Japan. So um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get like the sandwich breakfast or the no. traditional Japanese style breakfast. Yeah, I wanna get the regular one. Okay, um, but yeah, so I just tried on these eyelashes that I got from the Daiso market yesterday, which is like the $1 Japanese market, and they have them in California, so they probably have them everywhere. Um, and I really, really like them. At first, I was kinda like, I don't know, hesitant. But this is what one of the eyes looks like. They were a dollar, like that's not bad. But this one, as you can tell, is a little bit more fickle. Um, I wanna buy more, but I think I just got like a bad set because one of the eyelashes is really like good and this one kinda like is weird and bendy. And then I also um, tried my new Shoe Amara eyelash curlers and they are so, so good. So yeah, I would highly recommend those and I'll probably show you guys in a tutorial when I get back. But yeah, I thought I would show you guys Japan in the morning. It is 6.30 a.m. The sky looks very gloomy, but it's yet to rain a lot on us. So we are very lucky for that. So Doug and I are at our hotel's like breakfast buffet and we got, well I started with the Western food because I don't know. I got a mix. Um, yeah, Doug got like the Japanese and Western. So yeah, they have like eggs really like, I don't know, the eggs are so good. Try the eggs. Of course Doug's using chopsticks. <laughs> they're so good. I don't know why, but they're like creamy and amazing. That's the way to do it. Yeah, and they have the most random stuff, but I got like a tomato focaccia a sausage. Like I like their interpretation of Western breakfast. This is their bacon. It's like, it looks kind of like ham. Um, and I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try it. All right, so we've been seeing it this whole trip, but a lot of people get rice porridge. Rice oh, you can't even see it's so overexposed. Oh, there it is. Rice porridge. So Haley's gonna try it. Have you tried that? No, but it's good. I've had rice porridge. Oh, I, I don't eat it, yeah. Watery rice. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And here's my, here's my don that I made. So it's rice on the bottom oh. with um, chicken, meatball, vermicelli, and then some other stuff right here, then some spicy meat and eggs over the top of it. Should be pretty and good. And my most favorite thing. Oh, hold on, you're not focused. Okay. And my most favorite thing. Oh, cornflakes. Cornflakes. What? Cornflakes. So I'm gonna do now for the day. Um, okay, so today I'm wearing this off the shoulder shirt from chicwish.com that I got last year and I love it. I never realized how much I would wear off the shoulders shirts, but I just like, I'm obsessed. I want them all the time. And I'm afraid the trend is gonna go away and I'll be left with all these like weird shirts, but I like this one because it's white and it goes with everything. And then I'm just wearing this skirt. It's, I try to bring as many like older clothes because I didn't want them to get ruined in Japan because we're riding the subway a lot. So Doug's over there waiting for me to, okay. So I got this skirt back in college at Forever 21 and you can't really tell I'm pregnant in it. So kind of like that. Um, and then my shoes are these really cute shoes from Kate Spade. They have like little cork bottoms, or not cork, um, like straw or something. And yeah, the jewelry is the same. And I faked tanned last night. That's why I look so tan today. I thought I would show you guys what I use. So this is the tan that I use. It's the Vita Liberata Phenomenal um, two to three week tan mousse. And they sent me the shade medium and it makes you really dark. Um, not like super dark. I put on two layers and I really like the color. I think it looks natural and yeah, I don't know if I would even go like, a sh actually yeah, I totally would go darker, but um, I didn't get sent the dark kind if there is a dark kind. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. It dried like instantly and there's no streaks on me at all. Um, even like, I mean, I obviously like wash my palms so you can kind of tell the difference, but I feel like my hands still look really tan, but they don't look, I don't know, they're showing up more dark on camera than they are in person, but they don't look splotchy. I feel like they look really good, so yeah, and I just like love the color. It looks like I came back from Hawaii or something, and it doesn't make me look orange. So we're at some place called Lawson, and yeah. it's like another 7-Eleven kind of. Yeah. And apparently this is where you buy 
baseball tickets. You bought tickets for like anything? Like for like tickets for anything at this little tiny stand. And Doug found like a guide online to like tell you how to buy it. Yeah, we're so really random. Because we really want to go to a Japanese baseball game. I think that'd be really cool. And apparently they serve hot dogs. And you get to sit down because my feet hurt so bad. I mean, they'll probably serve other things too, like Taco Yaki. So Doug and I just had the funniest experience. The last clip was like me vlogging in a Lawson, which is like a convenience store, trying to buy baseball tickets. We were there for like 25 minutes, yeah. like a long time. <laughs> and we basically like had to use Google Translate to get our tickets. And then we were like, oh my God, we should go ask the concierge. We got the right sure tickets. Everything came out right and it did. Yeah, and then. Um, so after we spent all that time at the Lawson getting these things, which, by the way, was a hassle. And shout out to Google Translate app. And the guy, baller. yeah, and yeah. the guy, like at the Lawsons, did not speak yeah, any, English. He did any English. So it was so hard. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so we walked up to the concierge and we were like, "Hey, we just wanted to check out if these were right or not." And he's like, "Oh, yeah, uh, these look these look right. It's far away." Let me plan out the train routes for you. Yeah, so he planned so our, he train planned our train routes. Like our hotel concierge. Yeah. This is the best hotel ever. And then I also got two dollar gyoza. There are six of them Dude. because yeah, but it's two dollar gyoza and it's bomb. Like, yeah, it's, it's really so good. good. Um, so we're gonna head out to Sensoji, which is like a big temple, and there's a big shopping area there too, like a giant shopping street. So now we're just waiting for the uh, for the bus. Yeah, because I, I refuse to walk. Yeah, today for a today. little bit. Of Usually we walk to the uh, train station. No, not train. Yeah. Subway station. Well, and I'm starting to get shin splints. So. Yeah. Not, so we need to take like the it. bus this time. So we're just waiting for the bus. And Doug got another. I got my Max coffee. Doug. I know. Haley says that people don't like it when I sit there and I zoom in like that because it gets them really sick. But I like doing it like this. Just for more. stop that. So we're in the subway, looking for a platform to go to. with misters. This is literally boiling. It's boiling. Like I'm dying. The humidity is, is real. It is pretty hot though. Humidity is real. Like if this is how it is in the south, I don't think I can do it. Do you think it's this humid in the south? What's the humidity percentage? Can you look it up? 89 or 79. 79% humidity and if you guys live in the south yeah, so it's, and it gets 79% humid, tell me in the comments because so I'm so curious. Yeah, it's 82 but it feels like it's 90. Oh my god. Hey guys, so it's a lot later now because we basically, I got so tired. It's really hard being pregnant in Tokyo, like very difficult. Um, so we went to... Um, what was that shrine or that temple called? Sensoji. We went to Sensoji Temple. And then we came back and had like a Don Burry Bowl. I forgot what they're called in Japanese. Is that what they're called in Japanese? Well, we just had, it was basically just like a pork bowl. Pork bowl. Um, and then we fell asleep. So, yeah, now we're going to go back out for dinner. 
now that we're recharged and we're gonna go have what are we gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have yakitori yakitori which is basically like kebabs yeah and then um we might go find takoyaki, takoyaki. <laughs> all these names are crazy my eyelashes literally stayed on throughout my nap which i find is very incredible even though they're not the best they're like a dollar but you know hey so basically doug and i ran out of clothes <laughs> already already like Be doug for sure what is this because we didn't think that it was going to be that hot? Well, we just like don't know about humidity at all, like whatsoever. Doug was raised in Northern California where... Humidity levels are zero. Ze like negative zero. And I was raised in Southern California where it's probably like 1%. <laughs> if that, I don't know. So yeah, we are not familiar with like, I don't even know, just your clothes getting damper. Damper, is that a word? Yeah. Um, so yeah every day we've been coming home if you guys noticed and changing twice like so we'll put clothes on in the morning come home be so grossed out by our own like sweat that we'll take a shower and then wear a fresh pair of clothes because you can't put on because i don't know like damn clothes smell disgusting so yeah we've been wearing two clothes every day or two pairs of clothes every day and i brought like almost the exact amount of clothes for this trip because the trip is so long that it takes up a lot of space to like um bring that many clothes with you so yeah we need to go buy some t-shirts for doug and i don't know what i'm gonna do i have like a few more clothes than he does so i'm gonna try and wait it out but it's not looking good and a lot of the stuff here is kind of inflated like the pricing for clothing um because they have a lot of the same brands as you know california or america but it's obviously not made here like most of the stuff is made there so it's a little bit more expensive which is annoying but we gotta do what we gotta do there's a lot of unique clothes around here although i'm not sure about like the quality of unique clothes clothing i know they have in america and people love them but they just kind of look cheap i don't know if it's just me but we might have to go there because it's the only promising place for men's shirts so Doug and I are also looking up other things to do and a lot of people have been saying to go to Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney just the regular one and I don't know we feel kind of weird going there because I grew up next to Anaheim yeah. near Anaheim so I've been exposed to Disney stuff since I was born so it's kind of like overdone yeah and you went a lot too but there's Tokyo Disney Sea. But yeah, there is Tokyo Disney Sea, which, which I don't know what that is. What the difference it looks is, so like. cool. Like the pictures online look really cool, and you can get like a night pass for fifty four dollars. Yeah. Or yeah. five thousand four hundred yen. Yeah. It's a little cheaper than fifty four dollars. But yeah. So if you guys have been to Tokyo Disney Sea and you think it's worth it, let me know, and we might go. Yes, this sounds so good. Maybe later. <laughs> Try to find the yakitori place. I was looking for my phone and it was in my hand. Oh. <laughs> These streets are so the tiny. The reason why it's a mission is because it could be on multiple floors. Oh yeah, or underground. Or underground, which is the biggest issue. Try it, that's like eating a peach. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anyways, um, this other vlogger who's hilarious, Chani Day, him and his girlfriend who are from Australia we went there. We could be totally butchering that, by the way. Chani? How else? It could be Chani. <laughs> it could be Chani Day. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. 